What if I told you that you can square numbers between 10 and 20 in less than, ready? In less than three seconds. Yep, that's exactly what we're going to learn in this video. So let's dive straight into it. What's up everybody welcome back to my channel Mathlete. This is me Saad Salim. Now if you're new here and haven't subscribed to my channel go right ahead and hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on amazing shortcuts like these which can save you a lot of time in your tests or you can even use them to impress your friends or teachers even. So here we go. So suppose you want to find out what the square of 12 is equal to. Now the square of 12 is going to be a three digit answer. In fact all the squares from 10 to 20 are going to be three digit values. So what you want to do is for the first two digits, here's what I want you to do. I want you to look at the original number, which is 12, and then focus on the last number. The last number, as you can see, is two. So what, you, what I want you to do is, I want you to take 12 and in it, add the last digit. So what do you get? 12 plus two is equal to 14. So now we have our first two digits, which are 14. And for the last digit, this is what, this is what I want you to do. For the last digit, I want you to focus on what the last digit of the number that we're squaring is, which is 2, and then I want you to take the square of 2. So what's the square of 2 equal to? The square of 2 is equal to 4. So that means 12 squared is going to be equal to 144. Confused? That's okay, nothing to worry about. This is example 1. Let's do another example. Let's say you want to square 13. You want to find out what the square of 13 is. Again, make 3 blanks. Now for the first two digits, what I want, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 13 and in it, I'm going to add three. So 13 plus three is equals to 16. So I have my first two digits sorted out 16. And then for the last digit, again, I'm going to focus on what the last digit of the number that I'm squaring is, which is three. So three square is equal to nine. So I'm just going to punch in nine here. So 169 is going to be my final answer. Hopefully you're getting the hang of it. In case you're not, nothing to worry about. Just hang in there. So suppose you want to find out what the square of 14 is. So let's see. Let's make three blanks now. 14, add the last digit in it. So 14 plus four is 18. So there we have it. The first two digits sorted out. And then for the last digit, what's the last digit of 14? That's four. And what's the square of four? It's 16. Now, how am I gonna place 16 here? Well, that's not exactly something you have to worry about. You're gonna write six here, and then you're gonna carry the one. So this is gonna become 196. How did I get this nine? By adding one and eight. So 196 in this case is my final answer. Let's just try out one another example to cement this concept. Suppose you wanna find out what the square of 16 is. Again, make three blanks. So now you want to find out what the first two digits are. So you can do that by adding 16 and 6 together. So 16 plus 6 is 22. So we have the first two digits now, which are 22 and 2. And then what about the last digit? For the last digit, I'm going to take the last digit of 16, which is 6, and I'm going to square it. So 6 squared is equal to 36. So how am, I, how am I going to write 36 here? I'm going to carry the 3 and then 6 here. So this is going to add up and give me 256. So this is how you can square numbers between 10 and 20. And as we did in the last video, I want you to find out the square of 17 using this trick, the square of 18 and the square of 19. And let me know, honestly, that how long did it take you to work out the square of these three values. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel in case you haven't. I'll see you guys in the coming videos with more and more interesting shortcuts. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.